Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far and welcome back for more RL Craft. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to be a grappling hook pro, just like me. You can be spider nuts or spider your name. Anyway, um, I use the grappling hook all the time. For you, those of you that have seen the episodes or watched my live streams, I swear by the grappling hook. Swear to God, best item in the game. <laughs> but I have saved my life a lot of times using this and a lot of you guys have asked me how to use it properly and, and how to get good with it and uh, and have asked me to do guides on this so I'm going to show you guys how I practice using the grappling hook and got really good at it first things first I always have my grappling hook on the exact same slot it's always on four it's uh, basically just so I can learn to reflex just immediately if I need to grappling hook, force right click, right? And uh, and then I'm grappling away. This is very handy when caving and like, you know, maybe I'm caving early game looking for trolls. And I uh, see a darkling coming out of the darkness. And, and I immediately just four grapple and then pull myself up. Now controls. Well, firstly, let me show you commands. This is both how I practice grappling hooks and also how I practice uh, cheesing battle towers, particularly for a hardcore playthrough when I was planning on doing that. But you can spawn battle towers. I'll put a command in. Now, I can't remember what the one or the false is. I think the one means it's a normal battle tower going vertically upwards, and I can't remember what false means. But basically, use this command and you can spawn yourself a battle tower. That's a tall battle tower, geez. Um, so this is one way that I practice with the grappling hook, as well as obviously cheesing battle towers. All right, so we've got our battle tower spawned. Let's talk controls, okay? Now, I'll be honest, the controls under controls really confuse me. I, I don't know what any of this really means, to be honest. I don't know what hook ender staff is. Uh, I know what jump it attaches, I don't know what motor on off is, rocket or slide, none of this makes any sense. There's only a very limited number of controls that I use for the grappling hook and it still serves me very, very well, okay? So you got your grappling hook out, right click is to extend to, to throw your hook, right? And it can connect to pretty much anything except things like obsidian or sand and it will break glass on impact. And then it's simply shift and upwards to go up and shift and down to go down. When you press space to jump, you get a bit of a yeet. And that's pretty much it in terms of controls. So when I'm going up here, I'll pretty much just hold shift and up and I'll just throw it in front of me and I keep pressing space bar as it connects to give me a bit, a bit of a yeet. And then right click, yeet, right click, yeet, and the whole time I'm holding shift and forward. Now I actually want to be on the other side of this battle tower. Oh, another note is when you are falling, you want to kind of grapple to the side of things so that your falling momentum goes sideways, kind of like this. Because you can kill yourself with kinetic energy quite easily. Just uh, as a quick example. We're falling, we're falling, grapple and smack. And that can hurt and end up killing you if you have enough momentum. Alright, now when it comes to cheesing the battle tower with the grappling hook, we want to check to make sure we're on the side that has the chest. Make our way up the back here. All right, now when we get to the top, we want to stay on this one block here because he will aggro if we get to this block here. But if we block off its vision, like so, then it doesn't aggro. What we can do now is pick up the chest with the carry-on mod, like so. And then I normally hit my grapple, pick up the chest, and slide my way down. You want to go down low enough so that when you open it, it won't aggro him. And hit the grapple down. Now, this is done. Ah, I control with. I, I crouch with control and I sprint with a shift. I'm shift right clicking to pick up the chest. So I assume it'll be the same for you guys. Shift right click. And then once we brought the chest down here, we can just open them. Happy days. Obviously, if you have a pickaxe, you can grapple and you can, you know, you can mine through the wall uh, and try and access the chest that way. But this is just the easiest way to get the top couple of chests there. No problemo. And if you want to get some good practice in, some good scary practice in, uh, I uh, accidentally found out that yeeting around the nether on a grappling hook is both very fun and great practice. 
The other thing that you can do, obviously, is caving. Just practice running around, doing your bits and pieces. And then as soon as mobs come for you, bam, insta-grapple to the ceiling and get out of their reach. Again, the controls for that are going to be right-click to extend, uh, to throw the hook, shift and up to go up, shift and down to go down, and right-clicking from here will release you. And then space, uh, pressing space will jump. You can also slow your swing by holding shift. So if you're swinging a lot and you want to stop your swing, you can just hold shift and, uh, and that'll stop your swing. All right, off we go. Now, one thing to take note of is jumping doesn't really keep your forward momentum that much by pressing space bar. It kind of eats you more upwards. So if you want to keep forward momentum, it's actually better to not jump. So you can just right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click jumping if you want to go up and really gain a bit of height um also if you're, if you're eating around the nether one thing i've noticed is it does lag just a little bit maybe it won't for you but there's been times and i almost died to this a couple times where I, I thought my grappling hook hadn't connected or even been thrown but you just got to trust your gut and know that it's been been thrown out and it will connect if you're in range like just there slight bit of lag and i almost was tempted to click it again but if i clicked again it would have disconnected and i would have fallen to the lava and died shift down to extend the swing and then you can really you can really kind of pick up momentum swing forward and swing back and swing forward and you can get a lot of momentum this way i just i didn't jump there i just right clicked and honestly, that's pretty much that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts.